Hello again, and welcome to the City of Fredericksburg's COVID-19 Weekly Update. I'm Fire Chief Mike Jones. Let's start off with some good news. The numbers for COVID-19 and the Delta variant are starting to decline, not only in the Rappahannock Area Health District, but throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia, and that's good news. Uh, numbers are dropping in almost all categories. The number of people in the hospital that are sick with COVID has dropped from 70 to down around 50. Uh, the number of deaths has dropped also per week, and that's a good sign. The number of active cases is also dropping. So all those numbers are going in a downward spiral, and that's in a trend that's across the entire Commonwealth as well, as all the health districts are either seeing uh, declining numbers or plateaued at a certain number. So that's a good point. Uh, the latest information from the Commonwealth Virginia is that we are at about 6.3% for a seven day positivity. Uh, the health district is a little bit higher than that. We're still around 10%, uh, but we're getting better as we've dropped from 13% down to 10% over the last couple of weeks. So everything is in a positive mode as far as declining numbers. That doesn't mean we let our guard down. We still uh, practice social distancing, frequent hand washing, and then if you are inside, you need to wear a mask per the governor's guidance, but uh, things are looking better and that's always positive. Let's talk a little bit about vaccines and things that you can expect there. Recently, and we'll put this up as part of our uh, program uh, on the website, uh, is the update on boosters. Boosters have been approved for both uh, Pfizer, Binatech, and Moderna, and J&J. &J. Uh, the actual particulars on who can get those boosters and when they're supposed to have those, again, we'll put that up with the graphic, but know that that's available. We also now have a community uh, vaccination site that's available. It's out in Central Park. Uh, the address is 1877 Carl D. Silver Parkway. It's uh, over near uh, or behind the Krispy Kreme, if you're familiar with Central Park, in the area of the old home gallery. And that's open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. It's always uh, good to have a uh, appointment to go there and call ahead of time, but they do accept walk-ins. And they're offering the J&J, &J, the Moderna, and the Pfizer vaccine, first, second, and third doses. So that's uh, important for that to know that. So you can go to uh, the uh, vdh.virginia.gov website to uh, schedule a vaccine appointment there if you'd like to. So I think that's positive. If you need testing, again, there's community testing available for COVID-19. That's every Thursday at the Bragg Hill Family Life uh, Clinic located at 400 Bragg Hill Drive in the city of Fredericksburg. Uh, up uh, on top of Fall Hill. Um, that is a drive through clinic. It's open from two to five on Thursdays. So you have that availability too. So with declining numbers and increased areas to get vaccinations and ability to get testing, uh, there's no reason that if you feel sick or you have a problem, you can't get a COVID-19 test either at the drive through clinic or at any of the local pharmacies. There is a way to get the vaccines and get the boosters now locally. Um, that area at Carl D. Silver Parkway, that is for the entire region, not just the city of Fredericksburg. So if you're in the Rappahannock Area Health District, uh, you can use that site right there. And then, of course, the declining numbers both in the hospital and, and uh, cr across the Commonwealth and in the health district, certainly helping matters to get this uh, pandemic under control uh, for another time. Uh, we'll talk again next week. Thanks.